The tools an artist uses depends on the medium in which he or she works. Usually the medium can be divided into three, dry media, wet media and mixed media. Under dry media would come graphite, charcoal, soft pastels, color pencils, etc. Under wet media would come watercolors, oil paints, acrylics, etc. Mixed media is a combination of the two, dry media and wet media, being used in the same artwork, example pen and ink with graphite, graphite with watercolor, etc. The scope of this course does not cover wet or mixed media, and under dry media, we would only be using graphite. Let's look at graphite briefly and the other tools we would use in this course. Graphite is a naturally mined element that is made into pencils, sticks and powder by manufacturers. Pure graphite is very soft and in fact was mistaken for lead because of its color and consistency. This is why pencil points to this day are often referred to as leads. Graphite pencil leads are made up of pure graphite and other materials like clay, polymers, etc. This is what makes it possible to make different grades of pencils. The more clay and or polymer added, the harder the pencil lead and the lesser of these additives, the softer the pencil lead. Graphite pencils come in wood case pencils, woodless pencils, mechanical pencils and clutch pencils. Graphite pencils also come in different grades. Most pencils have grades. These are the alphabets and numbers that you find at the end of the pencil and it denotes the hardness or softness of the pencil. The grading system used divides the range of the pencils into two broad categories, H and B, where H stands for hardness and B stands for blackness. Most commonly, we have pencils that range from 9H to 9B, but there are manufacturers that make pencils which range from 10H to 10B too. The HP pencil sits in the middle of the range of H and B. The F pencil is an odd one as it sits between H and HB and is thought to have stood for fine but indeed is an error of the early pencil manufacturers who added a grade between H and HB to correct their mistake and chose F as a random descriptor for this pencil. The number next to H and B signifies how hard or light or black or dark or soft the pencil is. The higher the number, the harder the pencil or the softer the pencil. For example, a 4H pencil is harder than a 2H pencil and hence lighter too, while a 6B pencil is softer than a 2B pencil and darker too. Chamois cloth or leather is made from porous animal skin that is supple and absorbent. It is used as a subtractive and blending tool by artists for dry media such as graphite, charcoal and pastels. The leather can remove some of the media from the paper and is more subtle and nuanced way than most erasers. Erasers should be thought of more as a drawing tool than an instrument of correction. Erasers come in different materials. There are vinyl and plastic erasers which come in the form of sticks, wood case pencil erasers, mechanical pencil erasers and electric erasers. Then you have the gum erasers and kneadable erasers. Tissue paper, be it kitchen towels, toilet rolls or any kind of tissue paper can be used as subtractive tools. Under others, subtractive tools would be using your finger to take off some materials from the paper which is not advisable as the oils in your skin can transfer to the paper and leave you with a smudge, cloth, cotton wool etc. Whether it's graphite, charcoal or pastels, blending the medium is an option to get smooth gradients and various textures in your drawing. Blending tools comprise of blending stumps, tortillons, cotton buds or wool, brushes, paint and makeup, synthetic and natural hair, rubber tip blenders, tissue papers, chamois, cloth, etc. There are other tools used during and after the drawing process like rulers or straight edges, sharpeners, blades or knives, sandpaper, fixative spray, mirror, plumb line, etc. Try the different tools available to you. Start small with a pencil. If you have access to a set of pencils with different grades, I would encourage you to try them. Familiarize yourself with the pencil set that you own so that you know its capabilities and limits. Try the erasers that you have at home. Try using any blending tools that you have access to. If you have got any value from this video, Please give it a like 
and consider subscribing for more.